Speaking of uh, slow and keeping up, like I said, your brand of safety didn't really work all that well for Dora, but I guess uh, since you're not keeping up, you really don't understand that, do you? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Gears turning real slowly in that tiny little brain of yours. Or maybe it's just that you don't have enough blood to run both of your heads at once. What are you fucking talking about? But, uh, when Dora came back here, she was a wreck, Mr. Rose. And it sounds very much like I have you and your boys to thank for it. Huh. So yes, I'm very curious about the sorts of activities that your boys got help with. Well, they had two options. It wasn't like a, I like I like I said, I'm an equal player. I'm an honest man. I give people ways out. Well, let's hear about these options. Let's quit with the bullshit yeah, and the vague rate. crap. Let's get real. All right, so three things, usually. Really, three to four things we usually do. First one is, well, no matter who you are, even fucking me, even me, enter the territory, you need to pay a few cans of food. It's for the good of the fucking people, you know what I mean? We got farmers and fishers and shit. But there's something about canned food that just doesn't taste like shit. So that's the first way. You pay your fucking way in to the territory with some cans of food. They didn't have any cans though. They said they were all out or some shit. Whatever. Well then number two. If they could do some charity work, you know, see if they have any fucking special skills. Just if they could sew, you know, gonna do any of that shit. If they could cook. They said, what if they could eat a fucking stove for it? Fucking idiot. Well, the third option is their count is to become a counselor. And the fourth option is to join the border. Which of these options results in her battered and bruised and uh, with no memories? Rose, which option would that be? Probably fucking the border part. I mean, when you get your head chopped off and put on a fucking pike, there's really little way to go from there. I figure that since uh, she still is in possession of her head, that is not the option. So I'm asking you once again, Rose, what, what is it, uh... Oh, am I boring you? <sighs> the late fucking night. But yeah, I'm keeping up, I'm keeping up. Well then maybe you should answer me. Which option is it that sends... 15-year-old girl back battered and bruised and with no memories over there in Miroslavl Rose Honestly, I don't think any of the options would The fact, you know, the border one <laughs> Well then, like I said, your brand of safety is pretty shit, my friend Is it? I didn't hear any fucking complaints then consider this your first one. I want to know... Have you visited? I don't need to. I know how my daughter came back. Oh, it's your fucking daughter. She yeah. was crying about her, Mom. I said I'd call the bitch on the line. <sighs> she didn't know the frequency or some shit. Well, the bitch is before you. Got a message for me? 
Yeah, your daughter wanted to know where the fuck you were. You know, I'm not a fucking parent, but it's usually not good to let your kids wander all alone. There's lots of bad men out there. One place she encounters. Yeah, I don't figure you really, really have room to talk, my friend. Sir. Hmm. You're a you fucking apologize. told one, aren't you? Apologize for what? Taking care of her, for feeding her, her giving her shelter. Letting her be assaulted. Letting her be beaten. Letting her be assaulted. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Well, her friend, Alec, got some radio broadcasts out from Miroslavl. And even if she hadn't, the bruises and scratches Jeez. and defensive wounds. You don't need to aim a fucking gun at me to have a fucking conversation. Those would let me know what your folks did. Seriously, get the fuck back. We could talk without you having a gun in my face. I don't know about that because you really Please don't want to give me uh, some straight answers. What straight fucking answer do you want? I don't know what the fuck every fucker that I'm going comes and goes in here and swabble. Did fucking happen. <clears throat> but but the boys told you that they helped out a whole lot, right? Yeah. Yeah? You but you don't know which boys or how they helped. Real to be. They're not real happy now. And more importantly. When more importantly, and ear. far more problematic for you, is that I'm not happy. Sorry you're having a shitty fucking day. Oh, I bet you are. No, I'm joking. I don't really give a shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to make sure that I keep my eyes and my ears open for your name, Mr. Rose, and for your description, because I've already got some pretty good, clear reports that you've just helped me clarify about your proclivities. Really? And about I'm your beliefs. And about the kind of shit that you're interested in doing, and I don't like you it one bit. You want to know about my fucking beliefs? No, like you, I really don't give a shit, so long as I don't see your fucking ugly face in my town anymore, especially near my daughter. Your fucking town? Where the fuck are you from? Delina. It's my town. Alcyon's mine. I'm one of those fuckers around here preserving knowledge and wisdom and trying to keep people safe. So... You're kidding. You so blatantly disregard... Oh no. That's a real fucking joke. Mm, I bet. Do you really think that fucking... I really don't think that you are in a position to be running your gob right now. Because I'm getting ready to make you a deal and let you walk down the road. It's a rare opportunity. You leave you Joe alone? You leave Dora alone. Leave Joe alone. And don't you let me hear about you taking women out of here and chaining them up. Don't you let me find out about it. If I hear a single whisper of a woman that has been assaulted in this country, if I hear a single report of an assault on a woman or a woman they having been abducted, fucking deserve it. I will make sure that you never rest again. I will make sure, not that you die, Mr. Rose, oh no, because that will be too easy for you. Oh. I will make sure that you are brought to me. Fuck you, bitch! <sighs> <laughs> Oh, shit, are you okay? 
okay. I'm fine. Where is he? You hit like a girl, Rose! Stay the fuck back. Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Fuck! Drop it! Fuck! Like a little bitch. Drop it. DROP YOUR FUCKING WEAPON RIGHT NOW OR I WILL DROP YOU. Good boy. Nicely done. That wasn't so hard, was it? So... What do you think, Rose? Worthless women, huh? Fuck me and my daughter. Yeah. All fucking women deserve it. Really? You take his tongue. You're just like her. Just like you her. Are. Her! Take your backpack off and set it next to you on the ground, Rose. Right now. Don't try anything funny. No. I will authorize him to shoot. The hell? Fuck did you expect? Jesus Christ, you're a walking arsenal. You need guns. Big man has to compensate for something, it seems. Yes, I see. There's always the option of a knife. Don't you pick that shit up. Shit. Down. You are outnumbered and outgunned, my friend. I just Down. proved to you that even though you hit me, I am way fucking faster than you, and a better shot. Do you really want to test my patience? Really? That's what I thought. So, we had, we had a deal going before. <laughs> Where you see I was going to offer you that as long as you didn't fuck around, you were going to be okay. But you see, I think, I think the time for that deal has expired. You fucking deserved it, you bitch. You're just, all like her. Just like you deserved when I shot wherever the hell I got ya. How's that feeling, by the way? Is that hurting? Fucking bleeding like a bitch. At least you can do is bandage the fucking thing up. Oh. Is the world going gray? You know, I had a friend... <laughs> 
He taught me that you could bleed out for, oh, about five minutes or so before you fell out. But I never had the chance to experiment. How long do you think it's been? Uh, I forgot to start counting. You could fall out any time now. What a shame. What a great loss that would be. Ah, such a way. <laughs> oh, poor baby, here you go. Fuck you! Like her! Well, that should stop you from bleeding out too quickly. Oh. I'm gonna untie him now. Gosh, what a shame. What do we do with you? A piece of shit like you. You're not even really worth my time and breath, honestly. You're just fucking like her! Just fucking like who? Your poor mother? Are you gonna be a good boy if I let you out? Oh, I don't know if he's capable of being a good boy, but I tell you what. Don't you, uh, don't you use the word bitch again. That word is forbidden from your vocabulary in my presence from here on out. Do you understand, Rose? Fuck you, Elizabeth. Good boy. Fuck you, Elizabeth. See, he learns. He might have it have a little bit of sass, but uh Get the fuck away from me, Elizabeth! Don't you try that again. Shh, don't don't unrestrain him. Or I will. I'll fucking I'll fucking gut you, Olive, you know that? Look, he's he's like a little boy throwing a temper tantrum, Steven. I won't let you fucking touch me again, you bitch! Ineffective and angry. What did we just say? Don't you dare fucking touch me. Ugh. Fucking. <laughs> what was that? You fucking monster. Good uh, boy. Monster you fucking. Now be a good boy. Get away from me! Get away from me! But if we do, if we don't stay nearby you, how are we going to take care of you? You dare touch me, Elizabeth? All alone? No. All angry? Don't. You think I didn't forget, did I? It's okay. You think I didn't fucking forget? Shh, shh, shh. Now come on now. We don't want to have to put you in time out again. Come now. Shh, Rose. You're gonna try to fucking rape me again. Don't you fucking try it. Shh, Not like shh. before. I'll fucking kill you. No, 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 no. Nobody's gonna do that to you. Nobody's gonna do that to you. Shh. Don't. Rose, nobody's gonna do that Don't. to you. Shh. Don't you touch. Rose. Don't you cut me. Don't you cut her. Shh, 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 shh. Don't no. you cut Rebecca. You cut me enough. Is it not enough for both of us? Rose, it's gonna be alright. Now you did what I asked, and you stopped calling me a bitch. Don't. Don't please. <laughs> Don't please! And so that means Elizabeth, that... Elizabeth, stop! Shh, shh, shh. Rose, stand still. Don't you try to shh, touch me! Shh, 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 shh. Uh, 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 Now, uh, are we gonna have... Uh, 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 are we gonna have to... Are we gonna have to put you in timeout again? Put it down. 
Now you put it down. You put that down right now. There you go. I, I, nope. Now, there you go. There we go. It's going to be okay. Nobody's going to have to cut anybody. No. Nobody has to cut anybody just as long as you stay calm and stay here. It's okay. Don't touch me. Don't. Monster, you killed Dad. Now you're never fucking satisfied. You tried to hurt her. Why? Rose, Rose, you don't understand. You don't understand, but it's not quite like you think. Yeah. Don't touch her. Rose, Rose, don't. Shh, 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 shh. don't touch me. Shh, shh, shh. Don't. That's a good boy. Shh. You are, you fucking, fucking prostitute. You fucking, fuck you, Elizabeth. I'll never acknowledge you as my mother, you fucking fuck! I'm not your mother. You're right, I'm not your mother. I'm not your mother. My name is Alyssa. I won't fucking fall for your shit. Keep... Stay. Rose? Please. Oh. Come on, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get the best mark. I'm sorry, please. Rose. <laughs> Elizabeth, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, there's no need for that. <laughs> Fuck off. No, come on, sit down here. This is all your fucking fault. This is this is how women react. This is all women. All women just. <laughs> you fucking tried to hurt me. You tried to hurt my sister. So I fucking killed you, and then you did. I'll never forget what you did. Tell me. The things you did to my body. I still have the scars. I still remember the things you did that night. And I'll never forget it. I don't remember. You can't. You fucking touched me. You fucking did things with my body. You cut me. You scraped me. You drew on me like some sort of fucking... Drawing paper. Then you tried to blast to Rebecca. <laughs> this is all your fault. You were never there. You were never fucking there. You fucking bitch. Hey. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Do not touch her. What did we say about that, huh? What did we ah. say, Rose? Not allowed. Ah. Stop, Elizabeth. This is all your fault. We can talk. But you're not allowed to use that word anymore. Nor your fists. I see you touch her once more. I'll make sure it's the last. Oh, you fucking fault. Steve.
even is a place where people like you can't exist. But it's a place where people like you exist. I won't let people like you exist. I won't let you hurt anyone. I won't let you cut anyone. I won't let you touch anyone. I won't let you do anything. It sounds like you're hurting people. Or letting your people hurt people. I don't you try to put me in the same league as you. I'm nothing like you. You're a real. You're a monster. This is... This is all your fault. But you... Take, take, take anything else from me. I'm not going to take anything from you, Rose. But... You need to stay away from the women in this region. No. Me. They can't live. No. They, they're gonna hurt me. They're gonna hurt... They're gonna hurt everyone I know and get care of. No. And I won't let them. They won't... I won't let them. Rose. You are already on the radar in this region. There are already... people who want to come after you. I don't fucking care. I don't care about any of that. I can't let them fucking hurt people. Rose, do you like horror movies? No. I do. And in a lot of horror movies, there's this moment, usually at the beginning of the film, where if the right person had pulled the right trigger while aimed at the right head at the right time, a whole bunch of horrible shit would have been prevented. And Rose, I'm telling you, we're standing in that moment right now. And we have decisions to make. A whole lot of horrible things can happen, or they don't have to. I tried to help them. How? How? I How? tried to help your daughter. No. I've heard this before. Yes, we've heard this before. And how is it that you help people not to be like her? What is it that you do? So she doesn't, so she doesn't hurt any more people. What does that mean? You break them. You break them before they can break you. little girl. She's not. Elizabeth is a woman. Fuck her. Fuck her. Fuck her. They're not all Elizabeth. They all want to hurt me. They all want to cut me. They all want to hurt me. They want to destroy everything that I've built, everything that I care about. So I have to, ch I have to chain them. I have to do these things to them. You think I want to? I have to. These are the very things. I won't let them hurt anyone. I won't let them hurt Rebecca. I won't let them hurt me. I won't let them hurt anyone. These are the things that make them want to hurt you, Rose.
don't care if I die, I can't let them continue to hurt people. I can't let, I can't continue another night knowing somewhere someone else that's happening to someone else. I can't. So you're telling me that if I let you walk away from here tonight, this morning, you're going to go back out there and you're going to find women and chain them up or kill them or break them to keep them from becoming like your Elizabeth. Is that what you're telling me? There's no other way. There's absolutely no other way. Rose? Did you rape my daughter? I didn't... I, I didn't touch your daughter. Did you I allow her... break Elizabeth. Did you allow her to be raped? Did you allow her to be raped? I didn't do anything to your daughter. Did you allow it? No. I don't even know who the, your daughter is. Dora. Who? I swear to God, I don't know what to do with you. I ought to put a bullet in your head. I'm just gonna keep I can't control it! Give me one good reason that I ought not put a bullet in your head, Rose. It hurts so much. Mommy, stop the cutting. Rose. Rose, now, you and I both know that there are some things that you've done that we just can't let you get away with. So I'm going to make you a deal. Ah, oh, now, come on. I have never done anything. I, I helped them. I did it for their own benefit, and my, they, 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 did, they helped me. I can't control my feelings, my, my urges. I can't. I need to release. But you see, that's where you're wrong. You can control things. My body just, I like it a lot. It feels so good. Well, there are ways to do things, and there are ways to get what you need that don't involve hurting other people. This is the only way. No, it's not the only way. Just keep your I'm gonna make you a deal, Rose. I will never ever cut you. I will never cut you so long as I don't ever hear of you chaining up and hurting women. But they need to, it's the only way there. No, it's not the only way. No, they don't. I'm trying to manipulate me, that's what they all do. No. No. We'll wish we will risk a little trust here. I will not cut you. And you will make sure that I do not hear of women being chained up and harmed by you. I 
I'll, I'll even, I'll even help you out a little bit. You just wanna, you just wanna put me, that's what they all do. They all lure you in, and then they, they beat you, and they cut you, and they, 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 they drink and leave, and the smell of booze can be smelled all over the house. Well, now, Rose... And when the... And then, when the CPS come, they pretend that there's nothing wrong. And then, I, they tell me they're gonna kill me if they don't hide the... if I don't hide the marks. If I don't say anything. That's what all women want to do. You can't possibly have met all the women. So you can't possibly know that for sure. I've met enough! Now, you and I had a perfectly fine conversation right up until the time you started really, really being an asshole. So, I'm going to give you a chance to learn something a little different. I promise you, I will never cut you. Never. So long as I don't hear of you harming any women or chaining them up. They're gonna chain them up, though, anyways. What was that? They're gonna chain them up and sell them. The other guy, there's... There's tons of them. You know that? I'm a motherfucking hero. Well, I don't know about all that. No, you're not. No, I... Yes, I am. We'll probably regret it if I let you walk away from here today. You're a scared little man. I'm not a scared little man! I'm not afraid of it. I'm not afraid of you. I won't be afraid of anything or anyone anymore. I'll live life to the fullest and I won't let anyone take that away from me. I won't let anyone hurt. And how do you intend to do that? It's all the women's fault. Everything happens. Even this infection started. Now you're just... Mm, I have science. Pointless fabrication. You have point. The only way to cure this infection is to eliminate all the women in the world. Don't you want to make this world a better place? There is no cure. And that certainly isn't it. You've been brainwashed and abused. Tell me, how does the human race go on without the women? That's why they need to be attached to men, like a, like on the leashes we had them. <laughs> they're animals, if they're not trained. They'll hurt you and cut you and... and, and do things to your body. Things that no one should have to go through. Just a scared, sad man. I'm not scared of them anymore. But you are. 
I'm not. I can fight them. The thing is, they don't need fighting. You fight them because you fear them. I fight them because... Not afraid, huh? Ultimate release, Rose. I can make it all stop if you want. You can't, don't you? I won't. I won't let you feed me lies. Yes, I can. You can't control me or the urges. I'm a free person, whatever the fuck I want. But... I can make Not sure. Involved hurting women. I can make they sure. They deserve it. That you never, ever hurt again. I can make sure that you never lose control again. I can give you that if you want. Just a blink. You'll never be in pain again. No woman will ever be able to touch you again. She'll never ever be able to reach you. send you. Just to sleep, to deep rest. I don't want to go to sleep. That's when, that's why I don't want to go to sleep. No, it's a different kind of sleep. It's not like the sleep that you've had with her. I don't want to go to sleep. Imagine, she can never find you there. No woman can ever touch you again. Sneak up behind you and put their hands I, I on your shoulder. I need to make the world a better place for them. That's not for your job. All of them. No. Yes, it is. It's my duty. It's my duty. She lied to you. She lied to you. She chained you up, but I can set you free. How did, 
how did how did you know she How did you know she did those things? How did you know she did those things? I told you I know everything. how I know what you need. What do I need? You need to rest. In a place where she can't touch you again. Where you don't have to feel this pain anymore. Ever again. Did, did I do something wrong? Did I? Was I... Did I screw up somewhere? You've earned your rest. You've done the best you could do. I'm not ready to give it up. I don't want to... I don't want to give it up. I don't want to... Aren't you tired? Aren't you tired of running from her? Being scared? Aren't you tired of chasing after all these animal women? You can't save them all? I don't want you to suffer anymore. We want you to be at peace. So you want the nightmare to continue then? This waking nightmare? Then you be can become one with it. We can add to the beauty. And find I know it hurts. I know it hurts. Yes, so do I. That's why I want to give this to you. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to be scared ever again.
So you ask me... To keep you... And to protect you, is that right? And to forgive you. is a quandary. But I tell you what, I'm feeling generous today, despite my better judgment, Rose. So here's the deal. You belong to me. <laughs> you do not consider even moving a step without my permission. You don't chain anyone up or cut anyone or touch anyone without my permission. And you're going to start using that mouth respectfully. I'm going to show you what a real woman is. And you're going to walk the fucking line. Or the next time, I won't ask if you want to go to sleep. I will promise you this. As long as you walk the line, I will never harm you, and I will do my utmost to make sure that others don't. But the second, the very second, I hear about you overstepping boundaries, the very moment you disobey me, the very second you hurt someone, I will know. You can consider me your own personal angel of death. And if you don't impress me, I will give you my final gift. Is that understood? This is not a very good start, Rose. This is your only chance. Mind your tongue. I ask you again. Do you understand me? Good. So the first order of business is setting up some ground rules. You will not be allowed guns until I trust you more. You will, however, not be left defenseless. You will be allowed to have, I don't know, blunt objects, knives, whatever. Axe, if you, you know think that you're going to be around some infected or something. Yes, well, he's pretty useless to me without his hands. I it 
hurts. Yes, well, it's probably going to be pretty uncomfortable for a while, but you're just going to have to learn to deal with it. Not only are we grown-ups, but it's, uh, you know, pretty much post-apocalypse, so... I wouldn't. I wouldn't if I were you. Yes, that would be most unwise. Well, you just keep listening to your mind. Rose. What are you doing? Must not be rash. I have a job for you. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. There is plenty of good work that you can do. And I think it will help give you some release from your physical urges. Seems clear to me that uh, you're into the whole gardening thing. And Alcyon can always use extra food stores. So I think the first order of business is for you to uh, make it a habit to be growing things, collecting seeds, making sure there's plenty of food in Delina Town. be useful in that regard. Oh, I think you're plenty capable of doing so. You've already shown some exceptional progress. Look, you've managed to obey twice this evening and control your urges already. <laughs> Think this can work if we can uh, yeah. keep some of our friends from killing you that is which isn't a guarantee by the way Which is scarier? Well, you know, if it's really that much of a problem, I can make the decision for you. I really am a very busy woman, and I don't have all that much energy to spare. If I really am the scarier option, Again, I'll be happy to relieve you of all of your pain. So you're telling me that I should just let you go. All right. If you can listen, if you can learn, if you can stop hurting other people.
Do you want to do something different or not? Or do you want your rest? Because these are the options here. You either belong to me, or I make sure that that horror movie doesn't happen. You don't know what to do, huh? And you think that this makes you fit to lead. Can't make decisions. I, I just say, jump, rape, pillage, destroy. It's, it's easy. for fear, a mix of both. I was scared that they were gonna hurt me. And at the same time, my body said, release. But your building is a, it's a place for good people. And I don't know if I have a place in that world. That's a good person. All I've ever done is hurt and kill and steal and ruin people's lives. You, you want to kill me. I can see the look in your eyes and you, you hesitate. You don't want to kill me, but you want to kill me. You want to give me a chance, but you also want to kill me. Yes? I don't know if I can control my urges ever, and I'm scared of, of her daughter again. Well, I tell you what. I can make it a limited time offer. Huh? What is it? I'm gonna put this gun to your forehead. I'm going to count down from ten. And you tell me whether you want to live or not. Because by the time I reach down to zero, I'm going to pull the trigger if you haven't given me an answer. How about that? Yeah, I'll be making a, a good decision when this Real hard about it. So just to be clear before the countdown starts. You belong to me and live or not. Understood? Do you understand me? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two. What about you? Fine, I'll live. <sighs> okay then. It seems like you do want to live. Made that one easier for you too. See, I'm helping you already. <laughs> now, what exactly do you plan to do with that? What are you? Temper tantrum. Really? What are you Maybe doing? You should have just given him relief. Perhaps so. Mm. Really? Temper tantrum? After all we've been through. You're gonna throw the hoe at me. Really? Is it the hardest thing that you can think of? To be... To belong to me? To have to obey? I don't... Nah. You don't want me. Well, he's admitted to raping Dora. He tells me he'll do it again. Tells me he can't control himself. Yes. And if being owned by you is something that's difficult for this man, well, I have a hard time believing he'll be around much longer. I don't know. I, I love to fit in your new world. I just don't really think there's a place for, for people like me. I want to imagine that I fit somewhere. But I, I don't know. I just, no matter where I go, I see her haunting me. And I want to believe that one day oh, I can escape it. But I, I honestly don't know. I told you. I know. Do you want me by your side or at your feet? That's at the end of the day. Can you live with having the man that rapes your daughter at your side? can be considered a single of your many fuck-ups. I... I... No, 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 no. You know, get on your no. knees. No, I want... I, I want to live. Get on your knees. I want to live. Do what she says. Get on your knees. Because you know what? You're right. I had a little girl. And she was sweet. And shy. 
and she wouldn't hurt a fly. Then she met you, you son of a Don't, bitch. don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. It's a damn good question. If I can stand to have the man who raped my daughter at my side. You think you deserve to walk next to me? Do you? No. You took all of it away from her. You took her memories of me. You took her memories of her friends. You broke her little body. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take you to her. I'm gonna show you what you've done. I'm gonna give her the chance to decide what should happen to you. That's what I'm gonna do. Same rules apply. You belong to me. You walk the line or you die. I'm not that invested in my revenge or hers. You fuck up even once, and there will be no more deliberation. There will be no more games. There will be no more asking you if you want peace. Is that clear? Good. I will be making a public announcement across the public frequencies that you are in my custody and not to be harmed because your punishment is being enacted from this moment forward. If you run outside of the boundaries of the places that I set for you, you will be hunted. You will be hunted like a dog. You will not sleep again. You will not eat without looking over your shoulders. I promise. There is no hole in the ground. There is no nook or cranny in this region that I don't know. There is no hollow where you can hide. Is that understood? Excellent. What do I do? You now reside in a town called Delina. You live in the police station in the cell, which will remain unlocked until such time as you prove that I have to lock it, which I don't think will be a problem. During the time that you are awake and conscious, you will keep a respectful mouth to all of the visitors that pass through Delina, particularly the women, and you will focus on digging holes and planting seeds and growing food to feed the people that pass through, particularly the women. Yeah. If you have issues holding your tongue, I'll take it from you. Yes. And if I ask for if I ask for any other specific little tasks, they are to be done. 
you will at all times be treated fairly without abuse or harm you will be well kept fed provided medical care when the time comes you will be allowed to see the destruction that you have wrought Yes. So with that, I figure we better get a move on. Get you to your new home. How long do I stay? Hmm, let's just take that one day at a time. I still think you're being too lenient. It wouldn't be the first time. So what do I get there? Well, you know, my dear, I'm not going to argue if you have another decision. No, no, this is fine for now. I'm, I'm learning from your methods. <laughs> well, I hope today has been enlightening. Oh, yeah, quite <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. You are, are quite the teacher. I've never had a day like today, nor a lesson like this one, Michael. I. Well, I have been oh, inspired. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it, uh, it feels like it comes rather naturally. <laughs> Yes. So it would seem. You know, Rose, I'm getting the impression that you might be uh, more hopeless than I originally thought. Tell me you want to live. I'll give you a I chance. I don't fucking know. I can know. And you run off, trying to beat people down. I don't know. Your mouth says one thing, but your uh, your behavior says another, Rose. Fuck it. Fuck you and fuck your Alcyon and fuck your daughter. I'd rape her a thousand times. I planned to do that. That was my plan this whole time along, don't you see? But it's not fucking worth it. You're too much of a bitch to handle. I thank you for your confirmation. What do you think you're doing there, my friend? Stop. You stay still. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Fuck you. Sure. You know that. I'm gonna die fucking shitless free. I'm gonna go down the beautiful fucking sunlight. So. You can kill me, but you can never take a 
of what I did to your daughter. The innocence I robbed her of. Her purity, her innocence. It's all gone. It's and I took it away. Something you, no matter how powerful of a woman you may be, you'll never be able to get it back. She will always and forever be my bitch. Do it. And you'll always and forever be mine. Have a nice death. That bad I don't feel anything. Is it bad that I'm smiling?